Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, Land Rover Defender 300 TDI hardtop, 1996. Close the door, probably. 1996, I think it's 96, uh, on a piece. It's either 96 or 97. Um, finished in metallic dark green with a white roof. Also fitted with the county pack, which basically gives you sunroof, tinted glass, um, cloth seats, alloy wheels. They're um, 285, I think. Um, fairly big. Can't see the size on there. Sorry, 265 75R16s. Um, the tyres on alloys. Um, it's also got checker plate kit on it on the wing tops, um, modesty covers, rear quarters. Um, chrome front A bar. It's got a light bar in the um, uh, on the top of the screen. I haven't checked those lights up there work, so uh, um, assume they don't. If they do, it's a bonus. Um, mud flaps. Tow pack with, with uh, agricultural pin. Tailgate mounted spare wheel. There we have it. Right, let's walk around it and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Paint's all original on it, it would appear. A um, few little scars on it here and there, as you'd expect, um, but it's uh, still quite a presentable old girl, this one. Um, just walking around it from the front here, we've got uh, just watermarks where we've just uh, given it a quick wash. Um, Bonnet-wise, we've got sort of a... I don't know if that'll come off on it. Yes, it will, actually. It's like a... what that is. Wax mark or something on the back of the bonnet, but it's all coming off, whatever it is. Um, so nothing really around the front end apart from the usual sort of minor stone chips and uh, um, inset marks and stuff over the years. Um, near side front wing all looks pretty good. It's not dented on the front corner. Uh, there is a couple of dents in the, uh, the near side door, especially on the barrel side, but we'll come to that. Um, near side front wing has got a bit of... Uh, I don't know what that is there, just sort of lacquer loss or something, or um, I think the lacquer's come off in a couple of areas just on the back of the, the near side front wing. No, that's just a polish mark. Uh, a larger scratch just there actually on the near side front wing. Um, up around the scuttle on the near side, it's all very good indeed. Um, no bubbling up on the, um, on the steel metal work around there at all. Screen is good, especially on the passenger side. I'll come back to the driver's side later. As I say, passenger door, we've got um, a dent there which has cracked the paint along the just above the handle. Um, a small depression just there and a sort of a hedge scratch just there and another small dent just there and, um, and some hedge scratching along here which uh, obviously the um, been off-roading I think a little bit and uh, clouted, uh, clouted something. Tiny bit of reaction just coming up around the hinge but around the bottom of the door it's all pretty good. Inside here um, fairly civilised for, uh, for a Defender really. We've just got um, easy clean Front mats, um, although uh, so the the uh, the, def the county pack style cloth seats, um, sunroof in there. It's got full headlining, um, rubber trim to the uh, to the low compartment, but all quite civilised and stuff in there. This wiring, I guess, is for the um, the light bar. But um, passenger door, she feels. Quite solid on the bottom there, although there is a the rubber trim is still extant, so you can't quite feel the um, feel how much the bottom of the door is rusting. But it doesn't look too bad on the corners. Um, near side rear wing is all fine. Up on the van side, here's a couple of minor depressions, just one there, and a couple round here, and a couple of longer head scratches on the near side rear wing, uh, near side rear van side. Um, near side rear wing is fine, apart from the the eyebrow has got some lacquer loss just around here. And down there, and a big scratch along there. Uh, that's just marks. Another bit of lacquer loss on the back of the um, back of the eyebrow, just there, um, and a slight sort of depression that's taken the lacquer off um, in the back of the near side rear wing, just there. Um, around the tail end, all looks pretty presentable there. There's some electrolytic reaction coming up on the um, on the tailgate, just around here. Uh, but it's normal on these. Inside, as I say, it's all quite, um, you know, they've obviously been carrying things in here because it's paint marks and stuff and things in the back, but it's, uh, it's what they're for. They are uh, cargo carrying vehicles, I guess, so uh, it's also rubber lined. My bag doesn't come with it. Um, bottom of the tailgate feels very solid. That feels pretty good, actually, apart from in the corner. It's just starting to, it's, there's a rust hole just come through in the corner of the frame, but um, not visible on the outside and a long way from uh, needing any sort of attention. 
down the offside. Um, usual slightly wavy panel work on a landy, but nothing uh, really more than that. There's one slight, slight parking dink in the barrel side on the driver's door, I can see. A um, couple of sort of wavy bits on the on the van side, but um, that's what you get with these. And offside rear wing is fine. That's all good. Offside door, yeah, there's, a, there's quite a few little parking dinks just in the offside, uh, offside door around there. And there was a, one actually on the barrel side there, so it hasn't broken the paint or anything. And that's just a... It's just a polish mark there, looks like it anyway. Um, a few minor scratches down the bottom of the offside door. It's like when animals tried to get in by the look of it. Um, offside front wing is fine. There's a longer sort of three inch scratch on the uh, um, offside front eyebrow. Up here on the scuttle panel on the driver's side, it's all very good. No problems to worry about there. It's all in good shape. Screen on the driver's side is fine. Uh, it's obviously had a snorkel on it at some point because there's three holes in the um, in the windscreen mount there for uh, for a scuttle for for a snorkel hasn't got one anymore. It's got these nice um, silvered uh, silver vents on it instead. Um, driver's side inside fine. Driver's seat is a bit uh, a bit stained and it's got a sort of a dirty mark there, which might come out with a bit of sponging. Um, but there's there's just a tiny bit of wear on the on the driver's seat backrest where the um, the frame has just started to poke through in the very bottom corner just there, but it's uh, quite hard to spot. Um, dash is all good, all nice. That's about it, really. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk. Uh, we take debit cards and Visa and MasterCard credit cards. Uh, we can ship it anywhere. We take part exchanges. Um, not much we can't do, really. Let us know what we can do for you. And